Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel, and I'm going to share something with you in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam that is truly absurd. And I'll tell you here at the outset, effectively, what it is, a big part of it anyway. The SEC is asserting that XRP passes a particular prong of the Howey test, and because it passes one prong of the Howey test, the first one, the investment of money, that means that it also passes all of the other prongs in the Howey test. Now, you might be wondering why, and the answer is reasons. It's because reasons, folks. And so, as a result, Attorney Deaton, I love this slide, he said, the SEC's fairy godmother waved her magic wand. So, I'm going to share with you all the specifics, and there's a bit more to this thread. It's actually a fairly short thread. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a legal or financial background of any kind. I am not offering legal or financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. And so here it is from Attorney Deaton. He comes out the gate with this. Where is the common enterprise? I've read the SEC summary judgment motion three times. I still can't make out the common enterprise being alleged. Uh, just, just pause here. Uh, spoiler alert. That's because they're not exactly clear on what that is. I mean, based on what they say through context, you can kind of figure it out. You'll see as we go through this thread here. But they don't point blank state it. it, it, it but you know what they would do if they actually had a winning hand here? They would blatantly state what the common enterprise is um, in, in a way that would, you know, be based on legal precedent and such. You know, but, but, but what they're claiming, as I've, I've discussed in previous videos, you'll see, it's everything, the entire ecosystem. So here's what Attorney Deaton says. Ripple points out that at first, the SEC was asserting Ripple was the common enterprise. Now, Ripple claims because the SEC and its expert admitted that XRP holders are entitled to nothing from Ripple, the expert witness shifted and claimed the common enterprise was the entire XRP ecosystem. Think about that extraordinary claim, the entire XRP ecosystem. What did he define as the XRP ecosystem? All XRP holders in the world, all exchanges who trade XRP, Coinbase, Kraken, Uphold, etc. Every other business independent of Ripple building on the XRP ledger, all vendors who accept XRP as a form of payment, like Tapjets, and time, etc. Now, let's pause and note, when I said time, I'm talking about, yes, that time. The time with 19.3 million followers, Time Magazine. Did you know, before you woke up today, that you, as an XRP holder, are in a common enterprise with Time Magazine? <laughs> well, now you know, and knowledge is power, my friends. And Tapjet's here. And uh, by the way, they're the ones that, um, I know I need to follow them, actually. They're, they're the ones that uh, filed an amicus brief recently, or, or, well, technically an application to file an amicus brief, and then the amicus brief was included because procedurally that's just how it's done, even though it seems a little weird to me personally, but I'm not in the field of law. But Tapjets, their business depends on XRP and cryptocurrencies because, you, you know, they're, they're a private jet chartering company, and after regular business hours, you can't wire money. So, uh, Tapjets is basically Uber for Jets, so it is for extremely, extremely, extremely wealthy people. Awesome. But, you know, if you're talking about wanting to charter a jet, you know, just on a whim on the weekend, good luck. Because you can't move money, but you can move XRP specifically. But I'm, So when I say money, some people consider XRP money, but uh, you can't move traditional fiat currency because the entire banking system is like, we're just going to stop functioning for the weekend like we always do. That's how it works. It's absurd. We're in 2022. This should not be a thing. And XRP solves the problem. 48% of Tapjet's uh, funds, that are the revenue that they generate, is through cryptocurrencies. And XRP, as they've stated, it's the most popular one that they accept. And it's not surprising. It's because transactions are instant, you know, I mean, they settle with finality in three or five seconds, so effectively instant at least, and transactions cost a fraction of a penny, and it uses almost no power. So, of course, XRP, it's it's a winner, and and that's why Tapjets, they, they indicated in, you know, in, in pretty straightforward fashion in the amicus brief that they will be materially harmed if the SEC gets their way. Attorney Deaton continues, 
It is a truly insane and extremely dangerous theory because, as you can see, it would allow the SEC to regulate everyone and everything. But the SEC chose to not rely on its expert witness at summary judgment. In other words, there goes that insane theory of a common enterprise. Yeah, I'll pause and note, note, note that uh, in one legal brief from Ripple's attorneys, they illustrated just how absurd this is by, by just comparing that concept to gold, just in general. You know, what, what would a gold enterprise, a common enterprise look like? It would look like what? Uh, the, the actual miners of gold? You know, jewelry stores? You know, uh, you, you know <laughs> companies that use gold in electronics? Like, they're just all magically now in a common enterprise? No, it's a common interest. And the SEC is pretending that a common interest is a common enterprise, and it is not. But they're lying pricks. Attorney Deaton continues. If Ripple is out and the XRP ecosystem is out, what does that leave? In the summary judgment on pages three and four, the SEC writes, and this is a quote, Ripple funded its business by touting XRP's potential selling XRP to public investors, keeping a large amount for itself, becoming creator, architect, developer, builder, and caretaker of XRP's common enterprise. End quote. What does that mean exactly? Are they implying the escrow is the common enterprise? Are they implying the XRP ledger itself is the common enterprise? Feel free to help me interpret this legal gibberish. I wait with bated breath to read the SEC's opposition to see if it clarifies the specific common enterprise. Wait, I found the answer. It is on page 49 of the SEC motion. And here's the quote as John Deaton shares. Defendants do not dispute that they offered and sold XRP in exchange for money, which suffices to establish the investment of money aspect of the Howey test. End quote. So there you go. And this is important, so pay attention, folks. That's, that's prong one of four, satisfied, from, from the SEC's perspective. Investment of money. Oh, yeah, we got them, right? That's what the SEC's thing. I'm just kind of rubbing their hands together like that. Oh, we got them, son. And why do they have them? Well, as you'll see, because reasons. Attorney Deaton continues. In other words, immediately after claiming the SEC proved prong one of the Howey test, the SEC writes, and this is also a quote, defendants' statements and efforts as to XRP which show the undisputable economic reality, establish the other aspects of the Howey test as a matter of law, end quote. And that is hilarious, but they mean it. They're, I, mean, I mean, it's so offensive and there are potentially dire consequences, so maybe I couldn't, well, what, what can I do but laugh? It's that stupid. I understand there's serious uh, repercussions that may occur as a result of this as the SEC gets their way, but damn it's stupid. And it's so absurd that it's funny because what is humor? It's absurdity. I mean, that's what makes stuff funny. It's, it's just the, the idea of something absurd. That's a big part of it anyway, right? And so, and so there you go. Because one prong they, they say is satisfied, that means the rest of the prongs are satisfied because reasons. And again, here's the quote. Again, let me read it one more time here. Defendant statements and efforts as to XRP, which show the undisputable economic reality, establish the other aspects of the Howey test as a matter of law. So there you go. There you go, folks. Just because of reasons. They just, they just say it. They will it into existence. Attorney Deaton continues. The SEC doesn't have to prove common enterprise because of the statements and efforts made by Ripple, most of which weren't even made public. As a matter of law, all other Howey factors are satisfied. And here's what, probably my favorite line of this whole thing. Attorney Deaton says, The SEC's fairy godmother waved her magic wand. And the Howey test is met. <laughs> I freaking love that. <laughs> and then he wraps up by stating, I know it's been a while, but as a former federal prosecutor, I just don't remember the burden of proof working like that. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not <clears throat> in the field of law in any way. Uh, I, I don't recall it working like that either, but I'm just a simple little moon lambo doing simple little moon lambo stuff all up on the internet. <sighs> Let's wrap this up with a funny thing, though. Check this out. So um, there's an XRP community member named Pravik. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, but Pravik says to John Deaton in this thread, maybe the common enterprise is a person. I suspect Moon Lambo is the common enterprise here. And attorney Deaton responded to that and wrote, true. After all, 
we are all in a common enterprise with a guy named Moon Lambo. <laughs> Enjoy that common enterprise, folks. You love being in a common enterprise with me. And so I responded to that, and I wrote a little asterisk there, and then I typed, who may or may not be wearing pants. <laughs> folks, you do not know my current pants situation, and I will never reveal my current pants situation. None your damn business, son. And then an XRP community member responded to that and wrote, I want out of this enterprise, dot, 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 dot. I didn't say I'm not wearing pants. I just said I'm not revealing my, my pants situation, son. You, you want out of the Moon Lambo common enterprise? Are you sure about that? No takesies, backsies. And then uh, Attorney Deaton responded to that and wrote, Moon Lambo possibly without pants on is too much for me. Can someone ask the SEC, they won't talk to me, how does one leave the common enterprise? <laughs> gotta love this. Ah, uh, Deaton, you got a good sense of humor, my friend. You got a good sense of humor. And so I responded very seriously with the following sentence, and this is where it ends. I wrote, oh, John, there is no way out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So there we go. Ah, oh, freaking SEC, what a bunch of asshats. What a bunch of asshats. So let me know what you all think. I mean... You know, if you've got another take on this, if you see a different common enterprise, feel free to let me know what it is in the, the, you know, the comment section below. I'd, I'd love to hear opposing viewpoints and various aspects of what you're considering to come to whatever conclusion you come to. Let me know. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea because I may not even be wearing pants. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.